What's up world, G Murph from Mission DJ here. Today I wanna to talk about music organization and I'm gonna run you through my methodology of grabbing songs from the internet, getting them onto your desktop and then into Serato as quickly and as efficiently as possible. This is a 10 minute long video, but I do add some value along the way and show you some tips and tricks in organizing your music. So please watch the whole thing, like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions at all and I hope you enjoy the video. See you soon. I want to talk quickly about my method of getting songs from the internet into Serato as efficiently as possible, as organized as possible, okay? So you could call this an organization technique. I'm not going to go fully into organizing your Serato. That should be a long video maybe in the future, but this is just my method of importing songs, okay? So first things first, I want to get my desktop clean as a whistle. Mm, look how crispy that is. I love it. I just organized it and I know where everything is, so it makes me feel good, makes me feel accomplished, you should do the same. Um, next thing is you want to create a folder where all of your music is going to be downloaded to, okay? Um, you can import from iTunes as well, that's a different step, but if you're, if you're grabbing songs from record pools, uh, which are basically iTunes for DJs that create mixable edits of songs for DJs to mix them better than the radio edits. That's what record pools are. If you're using those, which you should be, um, you want to create one folder, a single folder, where all those downloads are going to be. So if I click this guy open, uh, there's a ton of songs in here. There's probably like 10 to 12,000 songs in here, and that's what I want. I want them all in just a single folder, not in some crazy, complicated hierarchy of you know genres within genres within folders within folders within folders nothing like that you don't want that it gets confusing and if you're ever in the unfortunate situation where you're in serato and you see yellow one of these uh these uh tracks light up yellow when you try to find it um, that means the serato can't find it and that's because it was moved somewhere deep within your hierarchy, unfortunately. So God knows where that track is, but I, I used to have that issue all the time before I moved to this method. So once again, first point, make one folder for all of your music to be downloaded to, okay? Second is go to a record pool. And again, record pools, if you're not familiar, are basically iTunes for DJs. They are platforms made for uh, DJs to download all the latest tracks, exclusives, remixes, edits, by some really talented producers and artists out there. Um, so there's a, a, a lot of different genres on here and remixes and DJ tools, really cool stuff. I really like using direct music service as one, but there's maybe 10 to 15 different record pools out there. Um, they are a subscription service, so look into your favorite one. I'd recommend direct music service, uh, BPM Supreme, Club Killers, and there's a number of others. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about those and I could recommend my favorite. So. Um, if I want to download a song, say this Wiz Khalifa song, uh, the first thing I want to do is make sure my settings are correct. Okay, so if I'm just in music downloading mode, I want the songs to go directly to that folder that I just showed you on my desktop. If I was downloading, say, a tax document or something else not specific to music, then I want my my th those files to go somewhere else, okay, not in my music folder. And so how I change that is I go into settings and you have settings that you can change, preferences you can change um, in any browser, okay? So scroll down until you see downloads and where those downloads are going to. So there's my folder on my desktop. If I'm, again, in music downloading mode, I want them to go directly there. So I do not want it to ask where to save each file before downloading, so that is unchecked. If I wanted to download something unrelated to music, I would check that and say it was like a PDF, it would bring up a screen up that, that asks you where you want to download it, just put it on your desktop and throw it in a folder from there. But we're gonna be downloading music, so I know exactly where that's going. I'm gonna uncheck that. Let's download Wiz Khalifa featuring Tyga, Contact, Twerk Remix, and what's gonna happen is it, it shows up as a download right here in my browser, which is cool. Um, and I'll show you why in a second, but it's also, I know it's also in this DJ music folder here too. I could show you that, but just trust me. So what I'm gonna do next is bring up Serato and I'm gonna talk just real quick about, actually I'll talk about that after, but let's just get it into a folder. So this is a new remix. I know it's it's kind of, uh, it's 
it has the torque label on it so i know it's a little bit more edm focused it's a little hype so i would might go to my club folder and then club edm that's where i'm going to throw that track in okay so it's as simple as dragging and dropping it Wiz Khalifa and watch what happens at the bottom you know that it's in there once you see a yellow sign down here that says Serato is reading the tag that's a good sign if you don't see that you probably want to drag and drop it in again uh, to make sure it's in there so drag it over to club EDM and there it is so it just read the tags and you can see that it just popped into my club folder as a whole um, so those are all my club songs but then if I go to club EDM it's at the top there now, if you didn't have added over here, the column added, clicked to sort by the date added, then it would not, it might not show up on top. Okay, if you had BPM sorted instead, it might be all the way at the bottom where, let's see, where is it? Dun, dun, dun. It's in there somewhere. But if I just click add it again, and you can search for it too, whiz contact so it's at 100 bpm so if you were sort of at a bpm it's going to be in the middle somewhere okay so just click added that's going to bring you to your newest songs downloaded and then you can start tagging from there you can you can uh color coordinate if you want you can add in notes in the comments like uh sick drop or something like that sick j uh, yeah i can type but i just double clicked this comment section and then I'm able to edit it. And then you just hit enter and it saves. And I can double click it again, delete it, whatever. So once again, from the interwebs, I am going from my record pool, downloading music, which if my settings are correct, going directly to my desktop, which is what I want. And I'll show you the method in a second of how to get it off your desktop if, in case you didn't want to drag and drop. But in this method, we're just dragging and dropping. And it's simple, as simple as that. It's in Serato forever, um, unless it crashes, which is a whole different story. But don't worry about that for now. So another method of, say you downloaded, like if you, if you didn't want to drag and drop every time, which is my preferred method, and I'll tell you why, because you can get the feel for that song. Say it's like a moody song, but it's also kind of lit. You might have a, a crate that is like moody lit for a weird example, right? So you can get real specific with your crates, which are these orange boxes, these orange folders on the left here. Okay, so you can just add a crate, call it Moody Lit as a weird example, and then throw that track in there if you wanted to. And then I'm going to hit Control Delete because there's nothing in there. I don't want that. Um, that was just for example purposes. But again, that's why I like doing track by track once, one by one. So that I can feel the song, I know exactly where it should be placed in my tracks or genres, and then it's over and done with. The other method that I do sometimes, rarely, um, is I'll download like 10 songs at a time. The problem with that is you kind of have to go back and listen to them again to see what the vibe was, right? To organize them correctly. You can organize them by genre, by genre easily, sure, but if you are like me and you organize by vibe or mood as well, then it might be a little bit more of a time suck. But the way to do that is you would go into files and find that folder. This is another reason why you want that folder hierarchy as simple as possible. It just took me two clicks to get to that, that, uh, that location on my desktop. And then I would simply drag this entire folder over into all music. And then what I would do is again, sort by added and it would show all my new music. Okay, so today is 3.31.20, then that's where all my music is. Cool? So right from the, the web onto your computer into Serato, that's my method. Let me know if you have any questions, guys, or if you would recommend a different method, but this works for me, okay? Um, I am curious to see what you guys do, but I've tried a couple methods at this point, and this just works the best for me. It's the most meticulous method for me. And I like being meticulous with my music. So I like to know that if I'm playing like a, a somewhat moody hip hop song, for example, then and I want to turn it up a little bit. I could go to my EDM section or my, my moody lit <laughs> crate that I just created if I kept that around. Um, or my bangers or whatever, if I want to turn it up a notch. So if you want to go with your, go the right direction with the energy, 
uh, of your of your songs or the vibe, then it's a really good um, idea to to really kind of drill down and and have a bunch of different options of where to put songs in. And it's it's also good to do your own way of of this, right? This method might not work for you. Whatever connects the dots in your head as quickly as possible when you're mid set and you're trying to find that next track. If if organizing my club doesn't work for you, forget it. If it's just genres that works for you and you go up to the search bar and, and try to find your song, then awesome. I just thought of Tupac real quick. I found some Tupac songs in there. But generally speaking, that would be in my hip-hop throwback crate. Okay, So it's just whatever works for you guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions again. But that's my method of just quick and, quick and dirty getting your songs into Serato. Hope that helps, guys. Mission accomplished. Talk to you soon.